of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Okay, fellas, give her one more pull. One, two, three. <laughs> Say, this is work, no kidding. Sure it is, Flat. You clowns just can't take it, that's all. What do you mean we can't take it? Why, you little Now, don't you call don't... me names, Flats. I may be little, but I got my pride. Say, Murray, uh, I got an idea. Just a second, Jerry. Wait till we get this rope tight. Well, and then... we can't. That's just it. Gee whiz, Murray, we'll never get it done. What? Now, you listen here, young man. It's we almost 11 now, and usually we're up by 9. Well, won't you listen, Murray? It's really a swell idea. Okay, Jerry, let's have it. Let's make it quick. Well, now, look, you use the elephants to help raise the center poles, don't you? Sure, men aren't strong enough for that work. Well, then, we're not strong enough to do a good job on tightening all this canvas. By so. golly, kid, you're right. Why didn't I think of that myself? Oh, I see. Jerry means to put the bulls on these ropes and let them do the work, huh? Sure, Flat, that's it. Jerry Dugan, you're a lifesaver. I guess I've just been too worried to do a little thinking for myself. And me too. Imagine, here I was, standing right here, brains and all, and I never even thought of getting an elephant to do the work for me. Uh, that's a good one. One elephant for one midget. Guess that's a fair enough exchange as that, eh, Major? <laughs> now, you look here, Slats. Better not try and start anything. Hey, Jeff, have Olsen bring a couple of those bulls back here. We need them quick. Okay, boss. Gee whiz, Jerry. Seems like you could have thought of this a little earlier before I got all these blisters on me. See, those are beauts, aren't they? Well, I'll say. <laughs> hey, Murray, what can I do next that won't be so hard on my hands, huh? Oh, why not help Pat put up the seats? He needs an extra hand. That's just the ticket. You know, only the other day, Hooligan and I thought out a new system for putting up those seats. Oh, no fancy tricks there, Slats. We gotta be sure the audience is safe. Ah, don't you worry. I'll get Hooligan and we'll try out our plan. Say, listen, it'll revolutionize the old system for putting up circus seats. You wait and see. Yeah, well, I'm not so keen on anything new. Not today. Don't you worry, Murray. And now, where is Hooligan? Well, if you're gonna use those elephants, I guess you won't need me on this job, Murray. What can I do next? Uh, you better rest a while, Major. Well, listen here, Murray. Just because I'm small, you can't treat me like I'm a child. You better let him work. He'll do it anyhow. You bet I will. Okay, Major. I need someone over at the wardrobe to direct those fellas on tightening the stakes. We'll use your brains this time. That's it, Ticket. Now you're talking sense. You go over there and get those ropes all set so that when I send Olsen over with the bulls, they can be just hitched up to the ropes and that little top can be ready in record time. And you bet I'll fix it. Okay, Murray, you're pretty lucky to have a man like me around and you can depend on. <laughs> Indeed I am, Major. Say, uh, Olsen's coming over now with the elephant. Oh, that's fine. We'll be through in no time now, Jerry. Thanks for the suggestion. I should have had my head examined for not thinking of it myself. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> Poor Major Mike. He's more in the way than anyone I ever saw. <laughs> I know, but you can't tell him so. He'd have a fit. I know. And he'd raise such a rumpus that he'd cause even more trouble than he does now, getting under everyone's feet. <laughs> yeah, and he'd get so mad when things go wrong. <laughs> you know, I nearly spit laughing last night when they pulled him out of that wagon load with Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he blaming everyone else but himself. <laughs> hey, fellas, hitch those bulls up to the ropes and we'll get those guy ropes tight in no time. 
And then we'll do the same with the menagerie top and then take the smaller top. Hey, Murray, what can I do? Well, you better work El Mundo. He's your elephant. Oh, well, that's great. Hey, what the... Good night. The wardrobe top. It's Kate Quick, Kent. everybody. All hands on the wardrobe top. Gee whiz, the major sure done it this time. Quick on that canvas. Raise it carefully. Yeah, I hope the major's not hurt. Now, somebody quick, I'll be killed. That's right. Take it easy. Easy. There. Uh, hey, Major, you hurt? Uh, hey, what do you suppose? How would you feel if a whole tent fell down right on top of you? Yeah, but good heavens, man, what were you doing inside? I went in just to be sure everything was okay. Hey, what's going on here? Say, you're sure lucky, Major. Hey, look, Mr. Randall, that center pole held all the canvas off him. Well, I'm certainly glad you're not hurt, Major. Hurt? Of course I'm hurt. I ache all over. This whole tent fell down on me, didn't it? But it didn't touch you. Hey, look, see, that pole protected you. Now, listen here, young man. I'll thank you not to contradict me. I guess I know whether I'm hurt or not. Yeah, but what happened? How did all those ropes slip at once like that? Well, you told me to get them ready for the elephants. Yes. And, well, so we were untying you them. You mean you loosened them all at once? Uh, well, it's lucky you weren't killed. Now, listen, Major, after all this, you'd, uh, you'd better go and lie down a little while. Me? I should say not. You don't get me to lie down on my job. Uh, now, no, listen, Major, we have to think of our show, too. I can't have my star attraction too tired of work. Now, you go and get a little rest. Yes, you're right. I must think of my public. And that fall must have been a pretty bad shock. Shock? That's hardly the word for it. It was just terrible. Well, okay, Major. You go rest a bit, and we'll, we'll send for you when we need you again. All right, Mr. Randall. But I don't want you to think I'm laying down on a job. Oh, I should say not. You're one of the pluckiest of all. Okay, if you realize that, then it's all right. B but I won't sleep. Mind you, I'll just rest. Boy, what a mess. <laughs> I tell you, we never would have gotten this show up with that midget loose around uh, here. I can see that, Murray. And the poor little fellow's so anxious to do everything to help. Yeah, but he can do more damage than ten zebras. Okay, men, give us a hand with this canvas. Say, Mr. Randall, right, you think Come we'll on, be able to get our show on for the matinee? Oh, yes, if you're not all too dead tired of work. Ah, uh, don't worry about me. And uh, how are things going under the main top? <laughs> Fine, I guess. They were spreading out the sawdust a little while ago. Oh, good. Well, you want to walk over with me while I check up? Sure thing. I can help Slap and Hooligan. They're putting up the seats with Pat and some of the clowns. Yeah, I certainly appreciate the loyalty of all you performers. Ah, uh, you deserve it all right, Mr. Randall. Well, I've always tried to be fair, but I... Oh! Good night. Another accident. Oh! Oh, there it is. Right over by the bandstand. Uh, call Murray. Quick, Jerry. Hey, Murray. Murray. Back right here. The main top. Be right over. All those seats right there. Caden. Uh, Slants. Hooligan, are you hurt? Oh, no. No, but we can't move. Pant, uh, uh, and you, Tony, get those boards off quick. Be careful not to hurt uh, those clowns. Okay, oh, oh, there. Uh, take it easy, sir. Take it easy. Well, what happened? What well, are you doing? You see, Mr. Handel, Hooligan and I had a new system all worked out for getting these seats up quick. Oh. So, yes, and when Murray said for us to help, it uh, seemed like the chance of a lifetime to try it out. Yeah, so you did try out your own ideas anyhow, huh? Uh, yeah, but I guess we weren't as smart as we thought, huh? You're telling me. Yeah. All right, men. Get back to work as fast as you can. It's almost noon, and we've got to get this circus ready so that the performers can rest, or they'll be so dead tired they won't be able to work. Okay, fellas, back on the job. Come on, folks. All right, Marty, come on, boys. Get over there now. Ah, what a day. Well, we made it. The tents are up, and golly, we couldn't ask for a better crowd. Well, there's a good reason for that. What? Well, the papers are full of the fact that the canvas men and the stakers have struck. Gee whiz, did the papers print that? Mm-hmm, indeed they did. Hastings even snapped some pictures while you were all working this morning, and they'll be in tonight's papers. Say, maybe that'll bring a lot of folks in, huh? Well, it'll bring them around a lot, but whether they'll go in to see the show is another thing. You see, we, uh, we'll have to leave out some of the acts, Jerry. Yeah, I know, so the rest of us can help put up and clear away the props. Yeah, and folks are funny. If, if all three rings aren't playing at once, they may not think they're getting their money's worth. Oh, that's silly. Because, well, they can't watch more than one ring at a time. I know, but we've trained people to expect three features going all at once. And if they don't, uh, they feel cheated. 
<clears throat> I think they'd get a kick out of seeing the clowns and the rest of us doing our own turns and then helping the other folks. Hey, Mr. Anders, uh, I was looking for you. <laughs> oh, hello there, boy. Something wrong? I was just passing the sideshow <laughs> where Stuffy called me and he said to tell you they can't wake up Major Mike. What? And they don't know what to do. It's time for the first show. They can't wake him up. He's crawled in that little bed of his. He keeps in his tent and he's snoring like a house of fire. <laughs> no wonder after all he's been through today. Yeah, and last night. Uh, Stuffy said they'd shake him, but he only mumbles and he doesn't even open his eyes. Oh, well, I was afraid it'd be too much for him. But this is really bad. After all, he's our star attraction on the sideshow. Say, Mr. Randall, I've got a swell idea. Oh, what is it, Jerry? Oh, why not just move him bed and all and put him on the stand, snoring and everything? Oh, that'd never do, Jerry. Oh, why not? See, I should think the folks would get an awful kick out of seeing that little bed. And the spieler can explain that, well, he worked so hard this morning that he won't wake up. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, that, Mr. Oh, Randall. but the Major will have a fit if he wakes up. Oh, no, he won't. Not if he's got a mob around him saying how cute he is. He doesn't care what he does, just so the public gets a kick out of him. I think I would do it, Mr. Anton. Uh, it's taking a pretty big risk, but I don't know. It might work. Sure it will. Come on, let's go over and try it. <laughs> I must say, you're not giving me a chance to run my own circus, Jerry. Oh, gee, I didn't mean that, Mr. Randall. I just thought I'd Well, could that's all right, Jerry. I, I think maybe after all, I'll give it a try. Come on, we'll uh, go over to his tent. Uh, good. Uh, then my job is finished. I must get ready for my own act. Yeah, well, all right. Thank you, boss. Uh, thank you for bringing the message. That is all right, Mr. Anton. Well, good luck. Goodbye. I'll see you later and show you how the major's act goes. Now, you do that. Hey, Boris. Oh, it is you. Boris, will you talk to me a minute? Please, it's important. Of course I will, Gabby, but it's not good business for us to be seen together. Here, step behind this wagon. We can talk here without being noticed. All right, but just for a minute. Hey, I don't know what to do. You see, they got the circus up, and they look over there on the midway. On account of the strike, there are more folks there than ever today. But I'm afraid the strike isn't a good idea. You will all. have to be patient, Gabby. These things can't all be done at once. Yeah, I know. But look, even you helped this morning. I had to. The performance on striking. It would have looked funny if I'd been the only one not helping. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I don't know what to do next. Say, has it occurred to you that we just barely got things done? Sure, but it's done, and there'll be a show. Yes, but if you could get the animal trainers on your side. The animal trainers? Sure, and the guards and all that crowd, they get about the same money you do. Yeah, that's it. Without them, you'd never gotten a show today. And without them, it'd be impossible to open or to work the animals. Gee, that's so. Your performers couldn't handle animals and everything. Uh, that's right, but but I wouldn't want uh, anyone to know I put such an idea in your head, Gabby. Yeah, uh, don't worry. But you sure hit on the one thing that can swing our troubles. Yeah, it's an idea if it can be work. You can just bet I'll try. Thanks. Uh, that's all right. The only thanks I want is for my name to be kept out of this in case of trouble. Yeah, uh, you can sure count on me, Governor. Uh, that's fine, Gabby. Good luck. Yeah, we'll need it. But I think I can talk to Jeff and some of the boys. Maybe there won't be a show tonight after all. So long, Boris. Thanks a million. Mm -hmm.